Next, from the Budget Committee, can we have Mr. Sonny Kravitz? Kravitz. 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 Uh, thank you. Yeah, obviously, the PTA spent, spent a lot of time putting this together. I just, today I drove from Portsmouth along the ocean to see what's happened. You know, the good news is they've really cleaned up the state and the towns have really cleaned up the property. But the bad news <coughs> is there's another storm coming tomorrow. Let me s explain. I want to tell you how the Budget Committee functions. There were six members and three, six ele elected members and three appointed members. There's two, three people running for two seats. The, the appointed ones, one is the representative for the Board of Selectmen, other is the PTA, SAU 90, and the third is a representative from the beach. We just deal with the money articles. We, the town manager t as he sets the, pro the goals, each department c comes up with a budget, they present it to the Warren article, to the Board of Selectmen, they vote, then they send all the money articles down to us. And we interview and ask questions of each department head, and we take a vote. What's happening with the Board of Selectmen in recent years is occasionally you get somebody elected to the board who has an agenda, a personal agenda, and it creates problems. For example, last year they gave the town manager, Fred Welch, a 10% rate increase. Jamie Sullivan, who's the deputy or the assistant town manager, he's a retired police chief. So he, by law, he's limited the amount of money he can earn. They, he, he, we're paying him 87 or some odd thousand. But they gave him more life insurance, okay? Next, may we, may we have... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I wanted to talk about two items, okay? Which, you know, there are many, many issues that are dealt with in the town, but I want to talk about last year, the RPC, the Rockingham Planning Commission, came before the Board of Selectmen for the project. They deal with the town's designing plant projects and then going to the state and get putting them on the Department of Transportation 10-year ten ten plan, all right? They came to the Board of Selectmen, presented a proposal to re change the Route 101 and Route 1 interchange. If you've ever been trying to maneuver there, you see the, how crazy it is. I'm sorry, okay, I'll skip down. <laughs> the other thing I want to talk about was the traffic on Exeter Road. The, the, the DOT, the Department of Transportation, is, says 11,000 cars and trucks a day on Exeter Road. It's not designed for that, okay? And then Mr. Montrone, who owns Liberty Lane, set up an HCC to, to, to turn some of his property into income, cash. <coughs> he found two developers. One wanted a nursing home, another one wanted a hotel. We, The neighbors approached the planning board and asked for a subcommittee of 10 to 15 people who wanted to learn about it and wanted to express an opinion. We did. We met. We came up with a final report. We were in favor of Zero. How do, you, how do you want me to go? Do you want me to finish or? Yeah, you know, <laughs> we came up with a final report which we presented, and what it said was we were fine with the nursing home, <laughs> but the hotel wanted 150 the parking hotel. spaces and they wanted to build an office building. I, the only one that was in favor of that was CNR's restaurant. <coughs> no, then the, then the planning, you know, maybe in another 30 seconds, that's all. Then the planning board, 
received our report. And then the Technical Review Committee, which is part of the planning board, did a title search on the properties. They found on where they want to build the hotel, there was the people that had sold it to Liberty Lane had a restriction on the deed, no hotel. What happened? Mr. Montrone moved to waive it. The water selectman went along with it. Mark Gerald went along with it. And we do appreciate happened. you okay. taking the time to inform us about your issues. Right. Thank you. We'll move on. Just to keep it fair amongst the candidates. Yeah. The only thing I'd like to say is I'm running for re-election. I hope you vote for me.